So Madison Fine Wine Auction, we are Hong Kong's first locally owned fine wine auction house. We're trying to bring and are bringing the lowest buyer's premium in the industry, which is 16.5%. We're eight and a half points lower than your standard Hong Kong based auction house right now. We're offering 0% seller's commission to any of our consigners. Doesn't matter the size of your seller. And then we're going to offer you 100%, 100% guaranteed sell through rate, which I don't think other people are necessarily offering. Um, and the reason for that is that it is demand driven business. The supply side is low, the demand side is high, and that we know that people want these wines. Give us their wine, we'll get you the estimate, we'll guarantee it all sells. We have developed an online automated estimation system. You send us the 30 wines that you want to sell, we plug it into our system, and based on this database that we have built, that has about seven to eight years of every single auction result, every estimate, every hammer price. The system will take a look at that and based on the parameters that we ask it for, we'll spit back an estimate immediately because what is so valuable about these products is that they are so rare. But you can't just count on the rarity alone to drive the sales. So we're able to say to a client, okay, yes, you have a, a 1990 Petrus. Let me tell you the last 17 times that it's sold, what it's sold for, what we think are the realistic results. This was an outlier that we threw out. And we can tell you this is exactly where your product should be selling for in the market. We utilize the service of outside independent uh, inspectors. In this auction alone, we're down to 400 because we found fake 1993 Lapin double magnum sold from a very reputable U.S. house from one of their most reputable sales ever. We found fake Jaye. We found a fake Petrus. We found fake 82 Lapin. We are finding these fake wines and we're using two to three to four experts. We won't tell the other person that we asked another person to look at it and just say, give us your honest opinion. If you think by every objectable measure you are sure that it is correct and it is real, we'll sell it. If there's any question, any small question, we'll take it out. Unfortunately, there's a lot of bad stuff out there and you can either try and pretend like it doesn't exist or you can actively attack the problem, which is what we're doing. I moved to China in 2003 and really got involved in the wine industry in 2004, primarily as a journalist. Um, and then, uh, you know, I was one of the first people who was writing about wine in China. Um, what I would say about the Asian market is that it's still young. It's still just very much at its infancy. Some of the best, most passionate, uh, smartest collectors in the world are, are here in this region and the government of Hong Kong has done something truly genius with creating essentially the world's only free port for the sale, storage, and transportation of fine and rare wine. And it has changed the global fine wine markets in ways that I think we are still not completely realizing. The highlights for this coming auction are many. We've got a three liter bottle of 2004 Latash, uh, incredibly rare, they do not make many of those. We have a 1.5 liter Magnum of 2003 DRC Romani Conti. We have 56 lots of the rarest, most impressive Baijiu that has ever seen the market. But really, if you're looking for highly curated, perfectly stored, uh, and well-sourced uh, fine and rare wine, we have something that, uh, that is, is incredibly special happening on June 15th.